Hello, everybody, and welcome back once again, live and on the air on Inside the Headset. Going to stay right here in Rutherford County. Going to talk to my good friend, the head coach of the Oakland Patriots. He has won 55 games at Ray Hughes Stadium. Congratulations on that, coach. Congratulations on being 8 0. Came away with a big win last Friday night against Riverdale in the Battle of the Borough. Talk a little bit about it, coach. Yeah, definitely, definitely been tough to get win 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55. Yeah, the last five, have uh, you? it's been like going up Mount Everest, hasn't it? It's been tough, I'm telling you. It's, uh, it's been a lot of good home games. I, I hope uh, – I hope our season ticket holders are 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 impressed and and satisfied. Uh, they've definitely got their money's worth this year, and uh, had another good game against Riverdale uh, Friday night. I talked to your opposing coach on uh, Tuesday and really complimented your team. That you know you guys are young and uh, got a really quick defense and just uh, get after the quarterback and uh, the front and everybody. And uh, uh, talk a little bit about that defensive squad a little bit, coach. Yeah, you know, our defense is uh, led by the three guys up front. We do have three seniors. Uh, two of the three have played for three straight years, started for three years. Uh, Theron Gaines uh, is a guy that uh, everybody talks about whenever they flip on the film. Uh, definitely the leader of our defense. Uh, Ethan McLaurin's right there with him. Uh, Caleb Cole is our nose guard. All three guys, you know, if they want to, they'll play football on Saturday. So, uh, you know, you look across the sideline and you look at Riverdale's defense, a lot of times our defense gets overlooked. Uh, but they definitely did a good job in the Battle of the Borough the other night. Uh, of course, give credit to, to Riverdale's defense. They did a heck of a job against us as well. Yeah, they did. And um, you, you guys were able to uh... – able to get away from them and everything. But uh, talk about a little bit about, you know, you, someone asked, you know, what's wrong with Jordan James? He didn't play the second half or this or that. Um, I saw a lot of Patterson out there, and uh, I saw you run a little bit of Khalil James, and maybe it's just time to give the, give the ball to somebody else. Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll probably uh, run into Riverdale again, and, you know, uh, that might be a time for – Jordan James to play four quarters against Riverdale, but uh, I thought Jordan did good, uh, you know, with his two quarters of action, and uh, we've got other backs, and, uh, you know, we gave them a chance, and uh, you look at, you know, what uh, we were able to do, uh, particularly uh, at fullback, we were moving uh, several guys around, played four or five different guys at fullback, and uh, our quarterback, he's kind of like a fullback uh, back there running the ball as well, so uh, definitely uh, diversified, I guess you could say, and, and gave a lot of different people the ball, and it gave a lot of different people the opportunity to 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 see what they could do against Riverdale's defense. And I'm telling you, it's uh, tough treading against those guys. They're really good. One of the things you really got to love about your team is, I mean, to come out and and even those those guys you and you've seen it, coach. Uh, the kid may uh, pull the trigger and say, I'm going here or I'm going there. And you look at the video prior to them playing uh, playing, playing up to the point to where they, they, they think they've made their decision where they're going to go to college, and maybe they pull back a little bit. I can honestly say, uh, you know, neither one of your two, uh, your two uh, bell cows that, that, that you got, man, they have both kept their foot on the floor. I think Isaiah Horton has – really progressed from a junior to a senior and he just he he did a good job this past friday night yeah you know he uh he had a lot of uh good receptions uh had one real close uh there in the end zone i thought uh you know they called it a touchdown then reversed it you know you don't see that every day in high school football. yeah you don't do you? Uh, were you were you the one that buzzed down from the booth or are you the one that buzzed down i don't know who buzzed down from the booth but Listen, uh, listen, I was case. fighting Come everybody. On. You know me. And, and you know, someone asked me this, Coach. Someone asked why uh, – someone uh, poked at me and said, well, why bring it up, Stork? The game's over. Well, number one, the official that made the call and had the angle, it was his decision that was reversed more so than I was thinking about Isaiah Horton. Isaiah Horton scores, you know, he scored a bunch of touchdowns. I wasn't – you know, and I want Isaiah to have his, his touchdown. But – 
for an official to be standing there and you make the call and I understand you've been a baseball umpire. I mean, you've done a you've done a little bit of officiating and umpiring and things like that, and been on the right. coaches' in and other things. And you, I mean, when you make that call and you're wearing those stripes and you're an official, how important is it, coach? Because you've you've been there, you've been sit standing right there and had to, and had to have that courageous conversations with parents in little league games. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's one of those deals where you know. It takes a special person to be an official, and that's probably why there's an official shortage. But no, at and the I, end of the day, I, most most people back, yes. you know, their fellow official. Uh, but you know, I talked to him, and he said that he just wanted to make sure that he got the right call. And, you know, uh, that takes uh, guts, and uh, there's been plenty of calls in other games that I wish somebody would go back and be able to change it. And uh, like I said. Uh, ended up not even needing that touchdown, so it was a moot factor. But at the same time, you know, uh, I thought it was a great throw, a great catch. Uh, you know, real good job with a quarterback throwing it. Real good job uh, of Isaiah pulling it in, and mm-hmm. uh, he just got to maintain possession of it. You know, and that that way you don't leave it up to the official. Uh, if he maintained possession of it, he would have had two really good touchdowns, and uh, the game would have really been out of hand. But um, well, that being said, I think uh, I think our offense was doing a good job of clicking on all cylinders. You could tell uh, we didn't miss a beat because uh, uh, we didn't have a week off. You know, a lot of times fall break kind of gets you off kilter a little bit. and uh, You know, a lot of times people don't want to play on fall break, but it seemed like playing on fall break was kind of a blessing to us because, uh, you know, we still were in sync with a lot of stuff that we were doing. Do you like where you are, Coach, right now in the 2021 season at 8-0? You're going to catch South Pittsburgh, and uh, you, you like this game. It comes at a, at a good time because, uh, you know, everybody's saying, why is the 6A playing this at this A and whatever and, and so on and so forth. But uh, uh, you uh, – you have a plan to uh, you you have a plan to yeah you're going to get your you're going to get your guys in and let them get a, a series or so but uh, I'm sure that blue group is uh, is is awful frisky and waiting for the for waiting for you to ring the bell are they not? I'm sure they always are you know so uh, we'll see what happens uh, you know at the end of the day I give South Pitt credit there's a bunch of schools between Murfreesboro and South Pittsburgh you dead gone right. James. You know, and and they uh, they didn't they didn't uh, want to play, uh, so you know give South Pittsburgh credit, uh, state champion runner up, uh, have plenty of state championship trophies in the trophy case, so uh, a lot of pride in that community. They love their football, and uh, Coach Stone could have easily, you know, acted like uh, somebody had COVID or something. Could have easily, uh, mm-hmm. you know, just canceled the game and you know paid whatever was on the contract. At the end of the day, he's a buddy of mine, and I'm glad that he stuck with it. I'm glad he's the interim coach. Uh, you know, I think they did a good job of promoting him uh, from within. He's a South Pittsburgh guy. And, and like I said, a lot of people would have took the easy way out. Uh, they're on to the play ball, too. You know, they had a couple games where uh, this season they weren't able to play, so they want their seniors to play ball, too, and that's what we're wanting to do. And uh, we're just glad that we get an opportunity to go down there, even though it's on a Thursday. That's our third Thursday game in a row. Uh, you know, we're going to go and play early. and uh, I think it'll be a good environment for our guys, and I think it'll be uh, a pretty neat game uh, considering the matchup between, like you said, a smaller school and a larger school. Well, and also it, it, it is about uh, uh, playing fundamentally sound, uh, getting on the field and getting off the field, uh, uh, regardless of whatever you do, fundamentally tackling them properly, getting down and breaking down. It's a chance to uh, it's a chance to coach the game. It's a, and you know if I'm South Pittsburgh, coach. I mean, you know, of course I played basketball and everything, but the opportunity to go against Rex Chapman, even though you knew he was going to dunk on you, man, I was fired up. I was fired up to get dunked on. I mean, I was excited to see this guy. I mean, I don't, I don't know how you know, I, you know. Even though the jaws of death may be out there, I'd be, I'd be, man, I'd be, I'd be the first cat with their helmet on, saying, "Let's go, let's see what we got," you know, because it's, it's part of the game, is it not? I mean, isn't that the way you played it? <laughs> well, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you practice all this time, you know, you put on all this work. And- 
you know, you get in the weight room and you work all year round. You, you do it to play games, you know, and that's what you're doing it for, to get film out there. You know, you, you know, you may get uh, recruited, you may not, but you only got so many games guaranteed. And, and luckily, uh, this one wasn't necessarily guaranteed, but um, South Pitts, you know, got the guys to go out and, and to play us. And, uh, you know, like I said, they didn't take the easy way out. But, uh, I give them a lot of credit for that. Well, Coach, we uh, it's always a pleasure to, to – to, I got to ask uh, because we uh, we have been following it a little bit and, and it is getting close to the time, but uh, where's that freshman crew at now? They won their playoff game and they're playing in the championship come Monday. So they're undefeated and they got a tough uh, bunch coming up uh, with Riverdale's freshmen. They, they got a rematch with those guys. Um, mini Battle of the Borough. And where is the Mini Battle of the Borough going to be on Monday night? Well, we're the higher seat, so it's going to be at our place Monday. And uh, like I said, I think it's about 65% chance of showers. So oh, no. It's a great battle. But it's going to be on turf. And uh, so we're not going to cancel that sucker. We're going to let them play out in the rain, and it should be a good one. Well, I, I have to ask, and uh, even though he is your son and he is the quarterback of the freshman football club, and if anybody doesn't know Coach Creasy, they know you're probably the hardest on him of any of them. Uh, how's he look, Coach? Hey, he's getting better every week. So I, I'm, I'm give credit to uh, Coach Vito, the quarterback coach for the freshman, and he's getting him better. And uh, like I said, he's put in a lot of hard work, so he's getting better every week. Got to got to get just a little bit better every week, and I think he's doing that. And I uh, feel like at, at where he is and all the all the quarterbacks you've coached, that he's managing the game properly and he's where he needs to be in his pathway as far as being a good Oakland Patriot and getting up underneath the center soon? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's lucky enough where he has a study hall with uh, some of our older guys, and so we get to watch film together. And He's picking it up pretty quick, so uh, he's going to be a good game manager, hopefully. A uh, good operator under center and in the gun, and we'll find out. Like I said, it's uh, it's still uh, one more game of his season, and then, uh, you know, who knows? We may bring him up, let him start practicing with us. Well, I'd love that, and uh, we sure would love to see him on Friday nights. He's an awful, uh, he's an awful good kid, and we followed him this long. Coach, uh, good luck uh, tomorrow night, and we will talk to you soon. All right, appreciate it. Thank you, Coach.